It's move-in day. I forgot it was moving day. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the 100 Baby Challenge Speed Run. I'm Kelsey, and I thought it was funny to do this. And also, I didn't realize I just messed up the intro. But well, we're gonna leave it. Last time, we birthed two vampiric babies. And this time we're gonna find out, is there anything cute about vampiric infants or are they just normal infants? Cause I actually don't know. So that's, that's it, that's what we're doing today. If you are new here or if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. It is my dream to hit 900,000 subscribers. So if you wanna help make my dreams come true, hit that button and join the danger family. Since last time, I and my Twitch audience have decided to build a new 100 infant house. And can I tell you that I think this house might be the best thing I've built in The Sims period ever. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So let's hop in. Thanks, Pass Kelsey. But before we get started, I would love to say a huge thank you to this week's sponsor, Care Of. If you're unfamiliar, Care Of is a subscription service that sends you customized supplements to your door so that you can keep up with your consistent vitamin routine. This is my little Care Of package. They send me customized little packages that say my name on them. It includes a multivitamin with iron, and it also includes ashwagandha. It helps minimize stress, helps with muscle recovery after fitness. They're all researched back, and they come in these cute little packets, and you just take one a day, and you're done. You're ready to go. So to get started, I went to the website. I took this cute little quiz, and I told them kind of what my goals are vitamin-wise. You know, I wanted health recovery. I also wanted digestive health. Chewy's also interested. <laughs> Since my supplements are already pre-packaged for each day. It's super easy to take them on the go while I've been traveling. And it's also just really easy to remember to do them. They even have a free app if you need an extra little boost to remind you every day to take them. If you're interested, go ahead and go to the Care Of website and take their quiz to see what they personally recommend to fit your needs. And make sure to use my code KelseyDangerous in order to get 50% off your first order. So big thank you to Care Of for giving us that exclusive discount. So thank you Care Of for sponsoring today's video, but also giving me a very hassle-free way to keep up with my vitamins. And now onto the video. Welcome back to Parkside Place. It will be the last time we are seeing it. So say goodbye to this kind of cringe house. We're just gonna bring the necessities. We are moving. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new era of The Sims. We might have to delete the house down to the studs. I don't really know. We'll find out. Okay, we have 74K. That's not gonna cut it. We need to delete the house down to the stuff. I just thought like selling all our furniture and stuff would have been fine, but it's not. All right, let's go into build mode. This is kind of sad because you know, I liked this house. Perfect. Okay, we have enough money. Let's quickly have Chelsea decide to move. There we have it. Here's our new lot. The new lot is in this fun part of the neighborhood that's right near like a water park, which I thought was really cute. And it has like this little jungle gym vibe. It's got a little place to fish. It's really close to the community center. There's just a lot going on around here that I thought this might be a really fun lot to move to. This is the new house. Obviously we'll delete this and we'll put in our built one. Perfect. But this is our gorgeous, gorgeous house. It's got like a little wraparound porch, a little balcony over here. Here, has this beautiful windows. And then, so if I take you inside to give you the tour. So let's start on the first floor. We have this nice little entryway that has a lot of kid-friendly objects here. We got a dollhouse. Over here we have the play tent. It's now inside with like a bunch of toys and pillows and stuff. We have this sunken living room that's just very cozy, approachable, a lot of seating. Then over here we have our gorgeous kitchen with what looks like a built-in fridge. Pantry vibe, which I thought was really cute. You. Our audience were very smart with making this all look built in. So then over here, we have our nice little dining spot with yellow chairs, of course. We have a half bath downstairs. Love that for us. But we also have a full bath, which I'll show you in a second. Here's our Todd room. Nice little foresty moon vibes in the green. Very good with the cookies. And then here is our large downstairs kiddo bathroom. We have a little shower and a toilet separated, but the bathtub is mainly for like bathing toddlers and stuff. It was nice having so many toilets, but honestly, we didn't really need like all those toilets. What I really need separated what was the most useful is having the bathtub separated from like the shower and the toilet.
toilet so that people could use different things. And then we have our infant room, I have two upgraded cradles because now we have money. This is kind of the downstairs. I'm really flipping proud of this. And of course you got your wraparound porch with like a little drinks area, a little front area, all the shenanigans. And then we have a staircase to a second floor. At the top of the second floor, we have like a little comfortable hangout spot, you know, guitar, friendship bracelets, computer, a fish, music, a little reading nook. Over to your right, you have the kids room with room for three kids at once. I figured since there's a kids room and a teen room and both of them have the room for three beds, I felt like six kids and teens were more than enough. So here's our kid room of some fun activities. We've got a little desk for studying. We have little bedside tables, void critters. And then we have the upstairs bathroom. It doesn't need as much stuff, I think, as the downstairs bathroom. So it's a little bit more simple. It has this little toilet area, bathtub. And then over here, we have the teen room. We went with like a purple theme because I felt like it would be easy to do both kind of more of like a masculine and feminine vibe with the purple. So we kind of have over here kind of like the boyish or like less feminine looking corner with a couple more feminine pieces. Then over here, we have kind of the hangout spot. We have like a TV in the room so the teens can hang out like in their own space a little bit. TV, we got a little desk behind here, couch, bean bag, all the good stuff that the teens might want in their own little space here, video game console. And then we have Chelsea's bedroom with her gorgeous window, her desk for writing her novels if she ever has free time, which she never will. I wanted to put her on the first floor, but it just ended up being easier to have her on the second floor. So we'll just have to transport all the kids downstairs, which is kind of a bummer, but she'll be up here with the infants who are the ones that need the most attention anyway. It's gonna be fine. And then of course we could put the baby birth certificates up on this wall, which is kind of what I've been planning. We do have this. Maybe we should put it down here for the kids. We don't have anything down here, so might as well. We will add our lovely stolen toy here thing, maybe into the kids' room. I didn't do a lot of landscaping. Part of me is just kind of like, it is what it is. But since we have more money than I thought, maybe we could do some landscaping in the future. You know, we'll make a nice little grave for our guy, put some flowers on it or something. Yeah. And there's also a sneak out window for the teens if they ever want to sneak out. We can't, we don't have any infants right now. We just have Todd's. So we do have four Todd's, but we do have four Todd beds. So ha 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 But right now we're just gonna settle in. So let's have, oh my goodness, our kids are tired. There's the birth certificate. I didn't realize there were 18 of them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Perfect. So I guess we'll need to make some new food for the house. I've decided I was just gonna put this in our inventory and use it as needed. So we're gonna serve all. Get our ceviche on. All right, kids, come on inside. Everybody, everybody. Chelsea's doing great. We do need to seduce someone new. Here we go. We got all our food here and then I can just move it over into the little pantry area. Look at her sit at the new table. I'm just so happy. Okay, apparently my kids wanna sleep in the tent instead of in their brand new beds that I bought for them and made so beautiful. This is so satisfying, like seeing all of my Sims kind of like get to know the new house, the new spot. I worked like six and a half, seven hours on this house. So it's very satisfying to see everybody settling in. Look at her getting down that little stair. So cute. And Brody's chatting with mom. Ooh, Alfonso. Hey honey, it's dad. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising. You raised none of my kids. It's Alf. Bonzo. Oh my gosh. You could at least run by once in a while. Why don't you come over right now? Is he gonna come over? Well, sure, I've got nothing else happening. I'll pop on by see you in a few. That's what I thought, sir. Come visit me. Oh, these two little beads in their little tent. <laughs> So cute. And Sasha's already on the upstairs computer, which we love. Let's put in a little Tetra. There you go. You got a nice fish in there. See, no one can say that my household does not have pets, all right? We got pets. They're just fish related. The girlies are having fun. Fun. They're chatting with each other. Maybe go take a shower. Enjoy. Oh, Huey is grabbing his lunch from his backpack when he notices something red inside. It's a note shaped like a heart with the words, you are cute, written on it and nothing else. He thinks it might be the new girl who always seems to stare. Does he ask her or wait and see? Yeah! It's Huey. I don't know Huey's personality too much yet. I think he's a sweetheart, so but I think he'll wait and see. Huey decides to wait it out and see if anyone comes forward. Sure enough, at lunch, some friends laugh and wave to him, hey, cutie, one taunts. Huey wads up the note and tosses it at them, laughing along with the joke. Someday it'll happen for real, but he's relieved it's not today. Aw, very nice. Oh, 
I love the new house. Look at her. Okay, she's just walking right through. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. Just walk through the countertops. Fine. And Luna's playing with the dolls. Yay! The dollhouse under the stairs was a move. But all my kids seem to be happy. Even the infants upstairs seem to be vibing in their new bedrooms, which we love. Look at them little matchy-matchy with Marie and Aaron. I like that Marie's is kind of gold. And his is kind of like dark and moody. They look like they're doing great. Look at all the kids hanging out together. Oh, look at these two. They are still both very mad. Okay, sweeties, why don't you please, 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 please go to sleep in your bedrooms. And then Luna, ooh, has reached level three of imagination. Good job, Luna. Ooh, Huey's grades are up and Louis' grades are up. And Lucas is an A student. Good job, Lucas. Wait, does that mean I need to get rid of my girls? I guess it does mean I should probably let them be free. But their dad was gonna come over. He hasn't shown up. He was all talk. Anyway, happy birthday, Lucas. First birthday at the new house. Chelsea's celebrating him. We're feeling good. We're feeling fine. We got a new adult in the house who is an art lover, a lactose intolerant genius. And pick a number one through 15. Okay, he's wellness. Okay, pick a number one through three. One. He wants to be a self-care specialist. Oh, cute. And that means that it's time for Sienna and Sasha to go on their merry way. I'm so sad. We're going to move the Sims into another household. We're going to move it in with... Oh, they could move in with their dad. You know what? Maybe they will. They'll move in with Alonzo. Why not? Have some quality dad time. He's the one that's bugging them to visit. They're going to visit for life. All right, bye. Look at us. Now we're down to 10 kids. This is so manageable. All right. Well, I feel great. Oh, look at Louie. Lulu's already out here playing a little scientist and Huey. Why don't we work on your mental skill? Oh, perfect. Well, that can be upstairs because of course I add a little chessboard and you are also working on your mental skill, which is the highest. So perfect. You can work there. Rody needs to work on his movement. Okay. Why don't you wander around? And Luna is already working on her stuff. So that's good. All right. So all my kids are working on their things, which means only one thing. It's time to invite over someone to flirt with. I don't think we've had a child with Marcus yet from Detroit Become Human? No. Let's invite over Marcus from Detroit Become Human. He seems like our next parent of our children, our next victim. No, I'm kidding. Marcus, would you like to come over? He'll be right down. Perfect. And look at this little sweet Brody. Bald as the day he's born. Surprise, there's a hat. There he is. Yay! Our first seduction at the new house. The new house just makes everything shiny and spectacular. Let's uh, do some romance. He doesn't have a spouse, but he has three children. Okay, let's kiss his hands. Want some more kids? They're like, bye mom. We're gonna have fun at dad's house. Okay, let's have our first kiss, first kiss. There we go, there's our first kiss. Good job, Chelsea. Oh my gosh, we can try for a baby in the tree house. That was very quick. I wonder if it was the lot trait. But here we go, we're going to the tree house that we've worked so hard for. Chloe wants to chat. Chloe will chat with you after the seduction. They're having a good time in the tree house. The kids are doing Doing well at home. You actually don't need to do anything because you're an adult. Did you level up your skill? Perfect. Good job, Louie. You do need to go use the restroom. So go maybe use the restroom. Do your homework. Huey leveled up his skill as well. Fabulous. Why don't you take care of some of your needs and then do your homework? I think Chelsea just finished up. Yes, she did. And she's on the phone with her daughter. Of course you are, sweetie. Let's have you take a little pregnancy test real quick. Your imagination's so good. Why don't you keep playing with dolls? Luna's decided to sleep in the tent. Zane and Jess are still asleep and nothing is wrong with these two. Is it because they're immortal? They just don't need human food? I'm a little concerned, to be honest, that we haven't had them cry yet. Marcus, you're so cute. Sorry that we kind of used you for the babies and then kind of feel like we're kicking you out, but thank you for your contribution to my family. Well, there we go. We told Marcus that we're pregnant and he seemed fine. Let's come in here and take a little shower. I like the yellow bathroom. It's nice. Louie's doing her homework in the toddler room in the bear chair. I love that. And Huey's having a nice little bath time in the new bathroom. I love it. I love this house. I'm kind of worried about the kids. I'm gonna just go take care of them. I 
know they haven't cried, but I'm worried like they'll be quiet and then they'll get taken away. So I'm just gonna go take care of them out of fear. Yeah, see, it says Aaron's really hungry and he's gonna be taken away. What's that about? All right, let's quickly feed Aaron. Here you go, Aaron. I'm sorry that you are just too quiet, I guess. I don't know, it's weird. Also, look who's here, Rebecca. Let's give her like a family kiss. So cute, aw, we're feeling so playful. Oh my gosh, the Todd came upstairs. Let's quickly change her diaper, my dude. Oh, he likes gaming, good for him. And Louie finished her homework, good job, Louie. Excellent work, she's all ready for school tomorrow. And Huey came in here actually to do his homework with his sister, that's sweet. Brody's taking himself to bed, very cute, little bee. And Luna's hanging out with big brother Lucas. Chelsea took care of the babies, so that's good. Oh my God, Chelsea's hysterical, but she's pregnant. So I'm pretty sure she can't die from hysteria. Oh, I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments felt really hard. She must be talking to her big brother. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. He said, spend more time, practice makes perfect. Thanks, Lucas. Chelsea's outside with Rebecca. Oh, some older Sims have a knack for providing reassurance and emotional support for their younger family members. The older Sim can serve as a good role model, sharing their many life experiences to help guide the younger Sim through life. Recently, it seems like Chelsea and Rebecca have this kind of relationship. That is so sweet that they're supportive. Oh, and Rebecca's like, I should be going now. Aww. Okay, Rebecca, have fun. Ha oh my gosh. Did someone fertilize this? I'm sorry, someone fertilized my woohoo bush. That is not what that is for. Uh, Huey, are you ready for school tomorrow? Yes. Huey is perfectly ready for school tomorrow. And so is Louie. It is 10 p.m., a perfect time to send my kids to bed after a late dinner and a little shower moment. I'm so annoyed about someone peeing in my woohoo bush. Why don't you go to sleep, Chels? Have a nice nap. She's feeling good. I'm feeling good too. Except for this over here. Makes me almost want to delete my woohoo bush. Someone peed in it. Literally all my Sims are asleep. Lucas fell asleep in the tub. Lucas, can you sleep in this bed? I know sometimes the game glitches and it won't let my Sims sleep. Can you not get up there? Shoot, okay, it was the side table. Dang it, ah uh, well, it's okay, it looks fine there. And everyone's asleep. I am still worried about these children. They're almost too chill. I'm like, you guys might die and I won't know. Oh, she's very hungry. All right, just go eat. She wants to grab a serving of ceviche. I tried to make her eat something else, but she's a ceviche girly. And you know what? I love that. Jess is a picky eater. And yet she ate the entire ceviche. All right, can we go to the toilet, Jess? No, she cannot. All right, let's wake someone up. Who can potty train you? Let's wake up, Lucas. Who's that girl? It's Jess. Oh, also, Zane is up, but Zane will be fine. All right, come on, Lucas, go take care of Jess, please. Aw, she's learned communication, good job. And Zane's going over to grab his food. I don't know what he's grabbing, probably ceviche. Nope, he wanted cookies, you know, that's cute. See, I knew I'd be watching TV in my TV room. Don't say you, these are literally going to be children very similar to your children soon. Don't you have kids? Don't be judging my kids. All right, we're gonna really quick also potty train Zane, because he needs it. Great work, Jessica. We love to see it. Her highest skill is potty, which is crazy. That literally never happens with my Sims. He's so focused. What a good kid helping out with the family here. Aaron and Marie are freaking me out. Even Chelsea has more needs than them. I'm nervous. Like, what am I supposed to do? What if I don't get any warnings? Uh... Okay, he finally thinks you should be going now. Oh, you think? You think at 5 a.m. that you maybe have overstayed your you're welcome. Jess acquired the imagination skill and it's level two. Good job, Jess. Maria's hungry. She's literally not crying. All right, let's a super efficient new bear Karen for Marie. And then we'll also feed her brother, I guess, while we're at it. Like, does he just not poo? Like what's going on? I don't understand. We're gonna give a bubble bath to Zane. Jess wants attention. Why don't you play a little bit more in Jess? You got this, okay? It's Saturday. Oh my gosh, my kids are just gonna hang out in the house. I mean, yay, I love it when my kids hang out in the house. What are you up to, Huey? Just chilling. You do whatever he wants. The day is young. Louis is having a nice ceviche. Love that for you, Louis. And I really like the glasses. Oh, it's New Year's Eve. Chelsea, did you decorate? No. There they are. Looking really good. So we need to get into the party spirit. Chelsea loves that. So let's turn on some like fun music and do some partying maybe. All right, Chelsea, you gotta give a bubble bath to Brody. Brody needs it. Oh my gosh. My kids have already destroyed 
destroyed their house. What the heck? Destructive Zane is destructive. Zane! The ceviche is the first thing gone. Love to see it. Poor Jess is like, my dollhouse. He ruined my dollhouse. It's Zane out here with his red boots. Like, yeah, I did. Poor Jess. It's gonna be okay. I think he should like calm her down. Comfort her. Yeah, let's go comfort our little sister. Maybe that'll help his empathy. Tell her it's gonna be okay. Everybody needs a bath at the same time. Poor Jess is devastated. Oh, but I think she's feeling better now because her brother said something. Forever the favorite, declare the favorite. Stop telling people they're the favorite, Huey. He was like, I did it. I told her she was my favorite. Now she will be happy. That's not how it works, buddy. Oh, they're jokesters. That's cute. And Chelsea's having fun with the kiddos. Okay, let's get some party spirit in. Louis used a little three of social skills, so that's nice. Huey's getting some fun going. All right, who else needs a bath? It's Luna. Luna, let's get a bath from Lucas, please. Look at it, it's so cute. Zane just bopping, having a great time. Jess is playing with her big brother, Huey. It's feeling very silly. Oh, I love that for you, Jess. So cute. Huey wants to make a resolution. I love this. Let's make a resolution. And your resolution is to just raise a skill. Your resolution is also to raise a skill. Oh wow, Lucas is mad from the toddler being fussy. He's like, I am so tired of just bathing toddlers all day. I wanna have a life. These two are just paused here, which is odd. So let's work on your skills. Okay, you need thinking. Okay, why don't you play in that? And your brother just needs potty. Let's have mom teach us potty here. Okay, how about you, Luna? How you doing now? She's doing also great, but she needs potty training. So let's have Lucas teach us. Get her on that potty. Perfect. Okay, now you can just go upstairs and sleep. And Chelsea will watch the kids. Perfect. Woof! Lots of kids. This is so cute seeing them all walk around in this beautiful home. Oh, wow. Oh, Jess is aggressive. It's becoming clear that Jess is a little more aggressive than other toddlers. Aggressive toddlers like to roughhouse and are quick to hit, bite, or kick Sims so long as they aren't good friends. They don't even have to be angry like other toddlers. <laughs> Watch out. And Huey's resolution was complete. Good job, Huey. Yeah, we're just gonna keep potty training these two. And why don't you watch New Year's Eve TV. Celebrate. Yeah, Luna leveled up. Level two potty skill, let's go. Brody, how about you? He's a little past level two. We're gonna pause here. Chelsea, you're gonna stop potty training him and potty train Luna again. We're just gonna do this for a minute. Oh, he's sad because he had an accident. Poor baby. That's okay. We're gonna potty train you again. <laughs> oh, he said no. He was like, I don't wanna potty train, mom. And she's like, well, you're gonna potty train because I said so. Huey's having a good time watching the New Year's Eve Rockin' Eve event. This kind of reminds me of like me. I feel like being in Los Angeles, you see all of the other countries of the world reach midnight like way sooner than you because you're kind of at the end. Chelsea is going to watch the New Year's Eve TV as well. Enjoy herself. Are you hungry, girl? Like, what are you up to? What are you doing in here? You're just waiting on your brother to be done pottying. Don't worry about him. Luna is also busy doing something. I mean, you could, if you really want to, clean the toilet for me. Ah, ah. Don't ever tell a mom you're bored. I knew that from being a child. But look at them all watching their New Year's Eve TV together. So cute. Share the New Year's Eve spirit with Huey. Oh, and Chelsea wants to make a resolution as well. Her resolution will be to raise a skill. There she goes. We're all gonna have a fantastic New Year's. Oh God, Aaron is very hungry. Okay, let's get Lucas on the case. Luna, how you doing, sweetheart? She's just still going, literally. Poor girl. Brody, on the other hand, why don't you come potty for me, okay? Your needs are pretty good. All right, we fed the babies, which is good. They seem fine somehow. I don't know how. Rebecca wants to go to a festival. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm having quality time with the kids, but you know what we could do is we could make a club and it will be called Impeach Maze. Oh wait, actually, can we have like a family reunion? Is that a type of party? Family reunion. Yeah, let's do it. All right, Chelsea's the host. So it's Rebecca, Cecilia, obviously, Sienna, Mason, Jonathan, Rosalie, Chloe, Sasha, Amelia, Hen, Ellie, Roy, Bo, Bell, Morgan, Carson, Metal. Oh, ah! we were so close in Raquel. Well, it's fine. We're gonna have it this evening at our new infant residence. Great. All right, so in a couple hours, we'll have a family reunion and all the kids will come by and see the new house.
close. I didn't mean to make it a gold event, but I think it's going to be. So we're going to have to do whatever the event says we need to do. It lo just looks like they're just zoned out watching this television show. Even our little sister Louie's like, why are we all watching this television? Huey's going to go play with his sister in the room. Louis, why don't you watch the New Year's Eve TV with your mom since you your fun is low? These poor babies. I feel so bad. Oh, family reunion starts soon. Yay! I'm so excited. I've never had a family reunion and I feel like this is the perfect family to do it with. Aaron aged up. Aaron is cautious and Marie aged up and Marie is sunny. Ironic because you are a vampire. Oh my gosh, look at these kids. They look a little spooky. Like, why does she look like that? Are these kids okay? I think it's the eyebrows. They definitely both inherited their father's eyebrows. He inherited his father's skin tone and red hair, which is kind of random. We're gonna go pick up our kids and put them downstairs. Chelsea's having a good time watching the TV, but I think you need to make your resolution and go put Nimuri to bed. Luna, you're almost there. Look, look, you're so close. Yes, Luna. Yes, Luna, yes. Okay, Luna, you can go to sleep. Brody will be right behind you and look who's here. Mason, go invite him inside. We're putting Marie to bed. Oh, Marie has like a little hat that is so cute. All right, let's put Aaron to bed now next. But these two are having a good time. Why don't you sing about New Year's Eve? Get in the New Year's Eve spirit. It's nine. Isn't the family reunion supposed to be happening right now? What's going on? Look, it's Madeline. Okay, Madeline's here and they're watching their New Year's on TV in the teen room. So that's cute. Are there any other of my kids that have shown up for the family reunion? Just two? Okay, maybe they were all busy. It's fine. I'm fine. This is fine. All right, let's get our kids out and age one of them up. Let's help Luna blow out candles once you're done mopping up. Thank you. Luna's needs are rough, but you know what? You can take care of your needs when you're a kid. <laughs> and Brody reached potty level three. Good job, Brody. Okay, Luna is, oh, a kleptomaniac. We needed a new one in the family. I think they've all departed. And pick a number one through five. All right, she is a little child genius kleptomaniac, which we love. Mom's coming to add birthday candles. And then she's going to age up our next gorgeous child, Brody. Ooh, I really like Luna's hair and her little outfit. It's so cute. Okay, everybody's starting to sit down to watch the New Year's Eve TV and to celebrate another birthday. So that's very sweet. Look at them all. It's the midnight countdown, baby. And Brody is passed out. Brody, you're supposed to age up. Okay, well, I don't know how that's supposed to function. Louis, do not pee in my bush, ma'am. Do not. There is literally a toilet right here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so mad. Also, you're gonna be mad if you miss watching the countdown to midnight. Everybody watch it. There you go. They're counting. Look at them, Shashubian. All right, here he goes. He's gonna age up any minute now. There you go. And he is lactose intolerant. We've gotten a lot of lactose intolerant kids lately. And pick a number one through five. Three, okay. He is a rambunctious scamp. This makes sense. Takes after his dad. Oh, we got our first visitation of our ghost, Johnny Zest. Look at him in here, gazing upon all the baby birth certificates. Lots to look at. Well, we all counted down to midnight and Madeline, you know, is having a little episode episode, but bonding with mom nonetheless. This was not at all what I thought would happen for a family reunion. I am a little disappointed, but it's all good. We're gonna go to sleep. Lucas, why don't you also go to bed? Louis, why don't you go to sleep in here? Huey will go to sleep over here. Everyone's getting off to bed. Oh my God, are you getting in my bed? Ghost, get out of here. Be gone, ghost. All right, everybody's asleep except for Marie, who honestly could try to go back to sleep. And my two kids are just hanging out. All right, look who up it's Zane and he's gonna talk to himself cutie he also wants to eat some food and he's got some skills to do but he's working on them getting up at 2 a.m. I mean they did sleep the entire day so I think it makes kind of sense their sleep schedules a little bit off and Johnny has christened the new house with destroying at least one two things Chelsea's was successful Louis was successful Huey's was successful looks like everybody had a pretty successful New Year's which is great oh gosh his sister is dirty. Jess, go eat some food, please, Jess. And then we'll get someone up to come to carry you. Whoa, Aaron is hungry and dying. So quickly go use the toilet and then go take care of the kiddos downstairs. Oh my gosh, both of them are pretty upset, but I think Aaron has worse needs. So let's come down and feed Aaron quickly. Oh my God, the ghost is down there with the babies. Don't put away my toys for the babies. When you're cleaning up, you're not even being helpful. All right, so we're taking care of the babies now. And Lucas is 
now level two of parenting. Good job, Lucas. Oh my God. And Zane destroyed the dollhouse again. Zane. Uh, dang it, Zane. All right, let's go babble to the bear. Please don't pay attention to the broken dollhouse. She doesn't know it yet. Oh, now she does. Lucas is taking very good care of the babies. Aaron learned how to coo. Jess is Jewish communication level two. Good job, Jess. Zane is reaching thinking level two. Good job. We'll give maybe Jess a bath after we take care of Marie. All right, Marie, why don't you play? And Jess, why don't you stop babbling? Because your brother's going to take care of you. Oh, Marie learned how to coo too. Good job, Marie. And look at this little troublemaker over here. Starting fights, destroying stuff. You need to work on your movement. That's fine. Why don't you wander around? Oh my gosh, stop destroying my house, Johnny. Oh my God. Jess is at least cleaning up okay. Fabulous. So Jess is all good to go. We could potty train Jess. Louie's doing her homework. Extra credit. Huey, Brody, and Luna are all asleep. Zane wants to keep waking up his brother. Uh, please don't. Let's wake up Chelsea and get her needs up. Jess is level three of communication. Good job, Jess. Oh my gosh. Amazing work and imagination. She just needs potty. Aaron and Marie are chilling. All right, kids. It's time for you all to walk across the street. It's approved by me. And why don't you go all play in the water. Enjoy it. Look at them all crossing the street together. Chelsea, why don't you watch the kids? Lucas, you can stay here and watch the infants while Chelsea watches the rest of the horde of children. <laughs> why are they playing in their literal clothes? I thought you'd all be wearing swimsuits while you did this, but look at them all. This is very cute. All of them playing together in the water, having fun, splashing around. Oh, Lucas is taking care of them. That's so sweet. Lucas, will you feed Aaron? Aaron, please. Whoa, Aaron just had a blowout. Well, that's probably not very fun. He's gonna play with his siblings in the water. Look at, ah, oh, little Zane already getting over here. This is so fun watching them all play together. And then Aaron over here just struggling. Yeah, water park, pow. Brah. Oh, Luna likes discussing interests. How cute. Lucas is doing great. Meanwhile, taking care of babies. Louie, where are you going? Oh, Louie's tired, so she's gonna go sleep on a bench. But I think she needs to go just to bed? Like, girl, your bed's up here. You could just go to bed. It's not that crazy. Huey is having fun still, so that's good. Brody's having fun. Luna is gonna go play with her little sibling, Zane. Jess is having fun. Yay, we're having tummy time with Aaron. Good job, Aaron. Who's at my door? Oh my goodness, one of my daughters is here. Go ask her to come inside. I'm sorry that you're tired. You can go back to bed once she's inside, but I want your sister to be able to hang out. Be like, welcome, welcome to the house. All right, seems like Chelsea's coming back. Hopefully the kids are fine. Oh God, one of them's making a mess and one of them needs to pee. Well, Brody, why don't you go home to use the toilet, okay? I'm just still kind of mad that nobody came to my family reunion for New Year's. I just felt like that felt like really weird. Like, why wouldn't you come, you know? My children are slowly but surely getting tired of the water park, but we've kind of discovered all of the new things that there are in store at the new house. So I think this was a success. Let me know in the comments what you think of the new house and if you have any baby names you'd like to suggest for our next two babies with a uh um, I didn't forget his name. You forgot his name. Anyway, our next probably two, maybe three babies. Let me know their names in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye. It's Marcus. Oh my gosh. His name was Marcus. Well, there you go.